This is Sasha from epcnews.de, reporting live from my hotel room in Taipei while I'm on Computex 2008. And as you can see over here, here is my new little baby. It's a brand new EPC 901 that I just bought in the computer district of Taipei yesterday for roughly around 360 euros or 500 forty dollars. I'm running uh, PC Mark 5 right now on both models on my EPC 900 with a Celeron M at 900 megahertz and over here at the EPC 901 with the Intel Atom at 1.6 gigahertz. Um, I started the benchmark right at the same time so um, let's see what kind of results we are getting to, to me it seems like um, the GMA 950 graphic card in the Intel Atom based EPC 901 is offering you just a way better performance uh, you can see all these cubes dropping over here, you know, without any stuttering, without any frame drops. Now heading over to my EPC 900. This is just very, very slow. Of course, it can also be a matter of a driver, but um, I guess I just have to do some more benchmarks on it in the next couple of days so um, just to give you another little overview of the different systems um, on the right side the EPC 901 that's the Windows XP version um, the Linux version wasn't available over here in Taipei um, when I was running uh, W' on it it says it's an engineering sample which is kind of weird. The BIOS is only 10 days old, so this is really brand new. And as you can see, it's also slightly bigger than the EPC 900. Um, the touchpad again got bigger compared to the 900. I need to tell you, it feels completely different. Now it's um, it's a little bit rough on the surface, and uh, it definitely supports now the multi-touch, um, the multi-touch drivers or the multi-touch capability way better. In you know, all the things that we've been expecting from the EPC 900 uh, in terms of uh, multi-touch, are now working on the EPC 901 so uh, what you can also see over here there on the top of the keyboard we have some four new little buttons with the first one on the left I can switch up the screen and with the second one I can change the resolution immediately of course, um, that caused my my benchmark to crash. Um, but you know, let's get, let let let's avoid it and uh, let's get on with a little hands on here. And the third button is doing a one-click overclocking or underclocking. So right now you can put it in power saving mode and uh, I'm going to show you then it's immediately underclocking the CPU. It's, it can underclock the CPU um, by 50%. The EPC 901 is also using this power saving mode immediately when you are running it on the battery 
that means then the Intel Atom is um, clocked at 800 megahertz but you can also overclock it to uh, 1.8 gigahertz when you are connected uh, with your power cord over here so let's get back to the buttons over here just to show you the differences um, the fourth button is just opening a Skype immediately uh, which is definitely um, a popular application and it makes sense and as you can see um, sorry I'm running a Chinese Windows XP home on it which makes it also a little bit hard for me to get around with it so I'm not definitely not familiar with Chinese at all um, yeah what else do we have keyboard is pretty much the same uh, we have the same issue with the space key and with the alt key um, from, for me it looks a little bit cheap when I'm pushing a key let's say like the R or the F key especially in this area pretty much the whole keyboard is moving up and down so um, I guess there is some room for ASUS to improve the manufacturing quality but otherwise you know, I'm I'm really really pretty happy with it right now seems um, the Atom system seems very responsive um, everything is is running smoothly on it um, especially when it comes to graphics especially when it comes to graphics that should be the main difference compared to my EPC 900 that is still going on with that PC Mark of 5 benchmark with all these dropping cubes and what I also like about it, you see it, it has a slightly different design, it has some kind of metal application all around it. Well, as I said the touchpad is bigger right now we have really two single mouse buttons over here while on the EPC 900 we just have one mouse button and it, it feels way better definitely so um, of course I still have to run couple of tests on it and uh, especially in terms of battery life because the EPC 901 over here is coming with a 6600 milliampere battery while my 900 was delivered with a 5800 milliampere battery so it's a 6 cell battery um, oops sorry it's a 6 cell battery and when I was running battery mod on it and uh, set the 901 to auto mode it's been offering me, uh, it said that it would run for let's say about some six hours so when we are ending up with five hours I think we are pretty good then um, okay well more more reviews, more tests, more hands-on on the 901 um, are showing up soon just head over to epcnews.de for the latest news uh, from Computex uh, regarding Netbooks, mini notes, UMPCs, and MIDs.